Yeah, we should have plenty of lava. Why is it... I'm confused by why the tank is full, but... Unless it's not... Well, let me try... Okay, now it's melting bronze. So... Orberry bush. Okay, maybe there's something that I have to do with aluminum first. From what I from what I was reading, it looks like uh, like you should just be able to pour. Hmm, you, you may have to smelt aluminum first in a standard oven. Mm. Aluminum light check. Is there an alu aluminum brass ingot? Is one of the things. All right, aluminum ingot. It's made from aluminum nugget. Ah, I see how this works. I think so. I take these and put them in my inventory. Mm -hmm. And then I craft them into an ingot. I which is really so. weird. But, yeah. Okay. And then I'll bet I can cook them. Probably. Which is really damn counterintuitive. Yeah, alright. Yes. Those then cook. Was there a rubber tree out front before? Yeah, I planted those. Okay, good. I'm gonna need like, that. Should I be chopping those? No, no, no. Those are going to be vitally important at some point. I am going to have over chop huh. down some more jungle wood because wood. I have that. Let me check here. Alloys. I don't Maybe suppose there's a way to craft a chainsaw that would work like tree capitator. Three aluminum and one copper. All right, so that's how that works. Yeah, we have um, there might copper, be. So. Molten aluminum. Molten bronze, molten aluminum. Let me check. Wait, let me check something. Aluminum and oh, copper. That's why. Duh. Not sure. That, I don't know if that's a real alloy in real life because. I think it is, but I don't know. All right, so one copper. Problem is, I think it will buy. Damn it! I just threw the copper. Um, I think it will by default cast off whatever the uh, material on the bottom is. Okay. So, or it might use whatever it can use. Of course, I could have just used gold, which we have and have almost no use for at the moment. Yeah. But that will eventually come in handy later. Smelt faster, bitch. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Sun is going down again. Shall we run upstairs and actually have a decent spawn point? Good idea. And then, alright. You can only sleep at night. You can only sleep at night. You can only sleep at night. I'm being more impatient than you. Nope. Then I opened a book. Well, that should help me sleep. It should, but... Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to build this place a little taller. There ah, we there we go. Yeah, I'm currently sticking out of a wall sideways in the wrong direction, so that was odd. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. So, aluminum. Let's see if we can see this work. Alright, so we have molten bronze, molten aluminum brass. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Oh. And you now have an aluminum, aluminum brass ingot? I now have an alum or I now have a uh, bl blank or blank cast, uh -huh. which I think you then take over to this to make a pattern, right? Stencil table or the part builder? I think it's the stencil table. Probably stencil table. Right here. Well, yeah, it goes in there. Let me take a look at the book. All right. All right. Once that's done, yeah, now it's telling you how to build the damn furnace. I already know that. I've already built it. Oh, there are all the recipes I needed to know, though. Ah, good. Um, you can melt end stone. Um, okay, that should be this. interesting. Ah, there you go. All right. Well, now that we already know how to do that, once you craft, or you can then take the book. I want pictures. <laughs> um... But now it's the diary of a tinker. Uh, which I made more tables with different patterns on them. They all look useful in different things. Huh? 
I sketched out plans for a new workbench. It's a little strange. The center of the workbench is missing, but sturdy. And there will be grooves on the top of the table for supplies. I think we'll call it a table. God damn it. Uh, making tools you need to know what you're making. The pickaxe, shovel, blah, blah, blah. I punched holes in a few boards carefully in different shapes. I spent a lot of time making them. They're really good. They resemble the parts of the tools. I can remember head, blah, 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 blah. I grabbed a few of the boards and stuff. Okay, may you might make boards. Or you might use boards. I don't know. Stone would be the best idea, blah, blah, blah. Sand and dust. I went to make a few more tools with the boards. The tools shape went everywhere. I ended up blah, blah, blah. I also named them Patterns. The chest of pattern chests. I'm still angry at them. Okay. Let me try something here. Uh, I'm going to try... Where's that pattern chest? Um, let's try... Um, no, that would probably be wasteful. Um, trying to decide what would be useful to make. Um, alright, so that's in there. Do we get to put that in there? Don't have any for tool bindings, unfortunately. Um, tool stick. I don't think I'm on doing the right thing here. That's the construction bench, isn't it? Yeah, this is the construction bench here on the far right. So, this is the pattern table. Oh, wait. Um, no, that, well, that's the stencil table. Okay. So do I, like, what do I do here? I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to see if I missed anything good here in the village. I am confused. So am I. Part builder? No, I can't put that. Or can I put that there? Um, alright. Oh, lordy. Let's see. The chest is the pattern chest. Is it some of them? Blah blah. blah. Three down nights fending off zombies. I finally created a house. It has a few rooms, a basement, importantly, a workshop. The ground. Someone's gonna be like watching this going. It was on page one. Hmm. Right, I'm then. gonna bring home another pattern chest here. Yeah. Good call. Alright, let's see something. Uh, does this craft into anything? No, it doesn't. That's the final stage in the book's evolution, then, I guess. Probably should have read the one about, you know, the actual thing a bit more thoroughly. Did you hear the one about the actual thing? I apparently didn't. Okay. How is that a thing? Molten aluminum brass. Apparently there's still three ingots left of it in there. I'm going to move the tool station down one so I can put the two pattern chests next to each other. Let me try something here. I'm going to take this out. I'm there going to take yeah. this. I'll put the tool station back up shortly. I'm going to put this here. Okay. I'm not sure how this works. Neither am I. But if you look, I just took one of the parts and cast a mold out of it. Ah, okay. I took the stone part. Oh, and it's actually still fine. Uh, what is it? A wide guard cast. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to make a blank cast. Ah. Can I smelt it down? I can smelt down the blank cast, so I think I'll put it back in the oven for now. Okay. And I'll pick back up the white or stone wide guard and put it in there. And I'll leave the Tinker's Dam right there. Now I'm wondering if I'm being really dumb about this. And if there's a really silly way... You know what? Hold on. Okay. I'm going to just uh, Google real quick. Good idea. Should have, you know, had the netbook out. Um, oh, well. Mm, let me see. What the hell is that thing called? Blank cast... Alright, cast. Alright. It's gonna turn out to news. Casts are not made but in a crafting table. But, but a crafting table, but in a 
casting table. Make the desired uh, pattern in the stencil table. Create the part with wood, cobblestone, etc. in the part builder. Ah, place the part in the casting table. And then you cast it. Okay. Then you recast it in whatever material you want. So yeah, this blank cast I have made is completely effing useless. So, melt okay. that. But then you take this cast. Uh-huh. And once you have what you want, you then uh, recast it in the material you want, which means I'm going to have to figure out how to get all this shit out of here. Um, hmm. Well, that's what we have the buckets for. Yeah. I think now, but hey, we figured that out, and yeah. that's something. Can I cast this out of anything? Nah, probably because of the shit in there. That was laggy. There must be something pretty good around here. Alright, so there's that aluminum brass. Unfortunately, I'll need a whole mess more of that before I can actually get that out of there. Okay. Some bronze in there. Let's, can I cast that now? Yes, I can. Neat. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, and the cast isn't destroyed either. Nice. So I'll put this in here. And I was able to prevent, or craft a bronze-wide guard. Eucalyptus tree. So you make that out of wood and shit? Why try this? The tool station? Oh no wait, it's the stencil table. So I put that in there. Alright, no, I would put, like... Oh yeah, the part builder. I see how this goes. So, I would put the pattern there. That material there. All right, I see how that works. Ah, good. How, that was the part I was having trouble with. How all does right. That, how does Let me, that go? You pu all right, at the part builder table over here, uh huh. you put in the pattern you want, Uh huh. and you can either use metal to build the pattern, Uh huh. or a block. Depending on what you want to do, it'll generate basically better quality versions, I think. Okay. But I think it only allows certain materials. So, like, I can build the tool builder pattern mm -hmm. out of stone. I can build a building part. Okay, that's another important thing. Apparently, we'll never... Or these patterns don't break. Ah, good. Nothing here it seems to be uh, single use. So, we can probably go through here and figure out what we have. Good. But yeah, once you have the part, of course, or once you have the part, then you take it over to the casting table, place it down, punch the nozzle, and it'll, uh, you know, normally work that way. Okay, so you have to, so... I cannot, however, get buckets of, uh, the molten aluminum ore crap out. No, I think or you'll have to turn it into ink.